Alright, taking another break from the caravan. Uh, this time, my phone is supposed to be water resistant. Got some water in it. Um, I've put it in the swimming pool for a second and the accelerometer stopped working. Now, with these phones, the accelerometer is really important mainly for the orientation of the phone and for the camera stabilization and if that's not working the camera turns into an iPhone 6 camera shaky and all so my plan is this is another phone, a donor phone I don't can't seem to locate the accelerometer but if the water came through the sim card slot and got somewhere maybe I can wash it with some contact cleaner or something maybe, hopefully and hopefully fix the issue so let's begin first a heat gun set it to 180 heat the sides take the screws off obviously and now I'm using a pop socket for a separating tool because some some people from eBay decided to be cunts and not send the real tool on time so the story is I actually ordered the proper tool, like a plier, to split the screen from eBay. It was saying it's from London, but actually it's from China. So um, now I'm stuck here using rudimentary tools. All right, I'm in there. Once you get the cracking tool on, then you can get a plastic bit and just work your way around the sides yeah so like, like I was saying before I ordered all the tools from eBay but they tend to say it's from London and they tend to come from China and then they blag you in the messages saying oh yeah please allow a couple more days and blah 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 and what the assholes do is you got two sets of prices on eBay. One that reflects the China stuff, which is usually half price. And another one that reflects that the product is already here and it's going to take way less to get to you. And that's usually double the price. So I paid double the price for these tools. Because I said, man, I need to get in my phone and fix it soon. And yeah, that's the trick. They all do the same thing. So here's me Monday getting pissed off and just doing the job with the tools that I already have. Last but not least, crack the adhesive on the top and then the screen should come off. like that. I mentioned this is a brand new phone, almost. And it still had water damage. Not three meters like they say, it was in the pool for a split second. I'm tired of these companies lying, man. Just say it's not water resistant. Say that. sad when shit like this happens from Apple.
like I said. Alright. Here's a look in a brand new iPhone XS. And like I imagined, the donor phone is an iPhone X. Hmm, damn it. I see some traces of water here and there. Right now, trilobe, 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 trilobe. One, two, three, four, five screws. Same trick I do all the time put them in the same place you took them off. So when you lay them down, so you don't forget. Whoa, not a trilobe. That's a different kind of screw. That's weird. Or, and this is a normal, like a Phillips. That's proper weird. This is coming off. So, and this is the battery connector. Let's take this off first. And then Take the rest of them off. This is the water indicator. So that's red. It means, yeah, look, water is here. My hope is if I clean this, hopefully, it's gonna sort out my accelerometer. If not, I'll have to replace it which is a job in itself really the glue tends to come off like that if you just it's pretty interesting glue this oh I did do a iMac 2012 teardown yesterday I replaced the um, hard drive on it with an SSD. Also, um, I've cleaned it, but we had a bit of a party and I was a bit of hangover, so I didn't manage to film it. Pack power plugs and all that. That's this one. Just slice that off like that. And then you don't have to remove the cameras and everything to get to the motherboard. Just take the SIM tray out like so with the waterproof gasket bullshit. Then, if it's the same like the iPhone X was, yeah, you have to take this off, and there's another plug there, this one here, and one screw, two screws, 
and push this thing away the sim card release slot thingy unless I'll just put this back halfway like that there it is that's it Right, the iPhone X had a screw here holding the motherboard, this doesn't, which is good news. This one is a Philips. Yeah. And another Philips. With like a metal thingy on it. Head, take this one off. Yeah. So it's off right here. All right. Now under this, there should be, and there is, another plug. I think it is. I do think there's something there. So I might have to take away the cameras. Okay. Mm Another Philips here. And one here. Try load. with the metal thingy. It's a bit different than the iPhone 10. Oh, it's got an extra shield in wall. That's cool. These cameras are glued to the underside. They have a bit of a glue thingy going on. No way, they're not glued anymore with this one. Sweet. Thank you. I'll just put it here like that. Right. Now this metal thingy seems to be glued to this flat wire, so let's release it. Take a flat head and like work your way in there, it goes off. And now I'll just pull it out. Yeah, baby. It's free. So, you don't really have to take the cameras off. So, I'm just going to put them back in because. I don't want any dust and shit going in there. It's definitely wire. Definitely a plug. There's two. Let's have a look. Yeah, there are two. Okay. Uh huh. So this goes off like that. Okay. But it's 
stuck with the glue from the battery, but at least I have a better view on those two tiny wires there. There they are. Just gonna use this as leverage. So tiny wire number one. Alright, so one is out. Let's see the other one. Alright, they're off. These two here are a nightmare to take off. What are they? Alright, now let's take the motherboard out. Okay, so it's coming out. Make sure you have all these out of the way. Off. So I see some water stuff here. I'm just gonna focus on that and clean that. You see that's covered in the iPhone X. My hope is this is the accelerometer, and when I clean it, it starts working. I had a bit of an issue with this side of the display also. It was force touching. So I guess it's, it went in here also. Yeah, look, there's some water here. Luma, Luma. Are you helping me with the phone? No. So there's the culprit. There's my contact cleaner, which should be safe. These brushes have a really fine, they have really fine, uh, you know, hairs. So they're getting in there. Man, please work. Phone without an accelerometer is, it's like, it's shit. Nothing works properly. The compass, the, even the calculator uses the accelerometer. Everything uses it. Me and phones in water, man. Previously, I had an iPhone 7, and I was like, yeah, it's waterproof, let's film something underwater. And water came in it. This is in the first week of me purchasing it from new IP65 or 60, whatever. In one meter for half an hour, it says Apple. This is IP68, three meters for two hours. Fucking phones. They did some waterproofing. All these connectors are, all these components are, they seem to be sealed, but for some reason, they did stop working. Right, now let's put it back. Since these are less, I'm gonna pray this this way. Right, I'm gonna put it back and test it. Hopefully it works. If not, I'll probably have to replace this chip here which is tiny, it's smaller than any chip I've ever replaced <coughs> but if I have to I have to the annoying wires first hope this works because these wires are a bitch to take out Yeah, we're 
Battery, what was it? That one's there. Display, display, battery. Okay. I'm done. Um, I will remove this glue. Because if it works, I'm just going to change it. Not that it does anything, because the phone is not water resistant. Can't stress this enough. Is not water resistant you know when you buy these things and you watch YouTube clips of people like everything Apple Pro and stuff that they test them in some tubes that are long 2 meters 3 meters and the phone still works man I don't know what phone you have seriously I have two phones now from Apple brand new both with water damage, both under the spec. So the first one I was filming in water at let's say a palm deep and it got in through the corner somewhere here. And this one I let's say for not even a second man. I took it, I was like dropped it, brought it back. It didn't go 20 centimeters under, not even 10 centimeters under, and the water got into it through the SIM card slot. So, I don't know what phones they have, really, seriously. When Apple in the Apple shop are gonna make a demonstration and put water put like phones in water and then sell them to clients then I'll buy it that the phones are waterproof until then they're not because if they would be water resistant Apple would have a warranty for water ingress for from phones because man we advertise them as water resistant if water gets in them, it's our fault, right? <sighs> Fucking stupid. Hey, hey, it's on. Now this is a happy sight because whoop, it turns and I have stabilization. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sweet. That was it. That's the iMac I opened yesterday. Full of dust in there. Sweet, I fixed my phone. Sick. Now I did manage to get a new waterproofing seal. Not that it matters. Fucking Apple. So, I would attempt to put that in. I think it goes in like that. Yep. You take it off from here. Like so, and this has the exact same exact same shape of the foam. So like it goes in like that. It's got the holes for the cameras and all. So make sure you line it up correctly. So again, make sure you line it up correctly.
because otherwise when it's stuck, it's stuck. Maybe. Alright. See, that's the messed up part. Other than that, it's quite okay, really. Right now the metal part, the metal, the shielding part. Okay. Like so. Final layer. And we put it back in now. Press it in. Boom. Golden. I didn't forget anything, no. Sweet. Turn it on. It turns on. Got a new phone.